Okay, so today we're going to talk about angles and their relationships. Uh, remember that an angle is created by the vertex, um, which is when two rays share, two rays share a common point. Let's do that one. A common point. And could be a starting point, really. Uh, but let's take this ray. Let's call this ray... A, uh, B A ray B A, okay, and then we'll take another ray, and it'll share that common point B. So then we'll call this one B C, okay. This would be called angle A B C. It shares this right here, the point B, with those two rays, and those two rays are called the side, okay. Also, the vertex is the point. And the angle where the two rays meet or where, yeah, where the two rays connect. So, oh, sorry, connect. Um, so in this picture right there, previous, uh, the vertex would be B. So, but let's just show we have our two rays. Uh, again, let's call this ABC. Right, this right here, point B, would be my vertex. Okay, that's my vertex. Okay, uh, the interior we kind of talked about that yesterday, so I'm not going to touch about that. But it's the inside of the angle. Okay, so if I have this big angle here. ABC, then this stuff is what's on the inside, on the interior of the angle. Okay. So we got just some vocabulary. Uh, congruent. Now, the mathematical definition is uh, same size, same shape. Okay. I'm sorry. Same size, same shape. Uh, but I'm going to use, it's not necessarily mathematically correct, but I'm going to go ahead and say when two items are equal, or when items are equal, let's do that one, because there could be more than two, when items are equal, because the definition of congruency is equality. So you might see a symbol that looks like this with a little squiggly line. It's equals uh, with a squiggly line. So that's what congruency means. So if I say that two things are congruent, by definition, that means they're equal. Okay. We talked about this word bisector. Bisector cuts into two equal pieces. Cuts into two equal pieces. They have to be equal, right? Equal parts. Okay. Um, you can cut things into two pieces where they're not equal, but if you bisect something, that has to be two equal parts. Okay. Uh, then we have this word adjacent. Most of y'all probably know what this one. This one means next to. Okay. So when you have next to or adjacent, we have angles uh, that share a ray. So these is a picture of adjacent angles. Just to kind of show you uh, an example. Okay. So adjacent angles look something like this. where they kind of share the same ray, okay? Uh, and just in case, we have non-adjacent, which means not adjacent, right? Okay, and those look something like this. As an example, okay? So remember, adjacent means next to, uh, when we're talking about angles, that literally means that they share the same exact ray. And here they're sharing that ray right there. So that's why they're adjacent. Okay. All right. So then we go down to complementary. Complementary. That keyword complementary means when the sum of the angles is 90 degrees. Okay. All right.
Uh, that's what sum, uh, complementary means when the sum of the angles is 90 degrees. Well, then that means supplementary is when the sum of the angles equals 180 degrees. Okay, so when the sum of the angles equals 180 degrees. Okay, with that being said, right, if I combined supplementary and I combined adjacent and I take these two words, I'm literally going to get my next definition, which is a linear pair. Okay, so basically a linear pair is a pair of angles that forms a line. Okay, it's a pair of angles that form a line. Or, in other words, adjacent supplementary angles. Angles. Okay. They're angles that share a ray that are, that are supplementary. And remember, supplementary means they add up to 180 degrees. So vertical angles. So we have an example of vertical angles here. It makes like an X. Okay. And then these are non-vertical angles. They don't make a perfect X. So you might see something like this and then something like this. Okay. Notice uh, vertical angles. It's important to notate that they must, this must be a straight line. You notice that that's not a straight angle. This, on the other hand, happens to be a straight angle, and a straight angle is 180 degrees. So that's why this is not a vertical angle, and verti uh, that is a vertical angle. The special thing about vertical angles is that they are congruent, and we just wrote the definition of congruent, right? So we're going to say vertical angles are congruent. That means if this angle was, you know, uh, 100 degrees, or let's say 80 degrees, that means that this angle down here would also be 80 degrees, right? Because they're congruent. We can do that by making our congruency marks, okay? So now that we know those vocabulary, and again, you can always pause if you need to, to take a minute to write this stuff, but that's there, okay? Now, if we're looking at this picture uh, with line uh, AD and EC, we're going to name a pair of vertical angles. So uh, one of the pair of vertical angles is angle ABC, which is right here. That's this angle ABC and angle EBD. Now, you may have come up with a couple, uh, some other names, and that's perfectly fine, but those are the two angles I'm referring to. Because those are vertical angles, they're congruent. So if I said that this was 80 degrees, then this would be 80 degrees. Okay? That's the geometric concept. That's what it means to be vertical angles. Okay? Now we're going to name a linear pair. Okay? And a linear pair for this uh, one of them would be angle ABE and angle EBD. Okay, so angle ABE is this angle right here, and angle EBD is this angle right here. You'll notice how they connect and they make this straight line right here. That's what makes them a linear pair. And remember, linear pairs are adjacent angles that are supplementary. And supplementary means they add up to 180 degrees, right? Okay, so let's look at these problems right here. Okay, this first one states, if the measure of angle AEB is 4X plus 5, so if this angle right here is 4X plus 5 degrees, and the measure of angle EBD is 6X plus 15 degrees, right? What are the measures of each angle? Well, the great thing is we just did this. These two angles form a linear pair. That's the relationship. So I'm going to write this because, and I'm going to abbreviate, angle ABE and angle EBD form a linear pair, a linear pair, LP. They are supplementary. That means that they add up to 180 degrees because they form a linear pair. So in other words, the measure of angle ABE plus the measure of angle 
EBD equal 180. So that's the geometric concept. After this, it's algebra. As long as you understand the geometric concept, you should be able to set up everything appropriately. Okay, so we can do the math. I know you guys are pretty good at the math. So with that being said, we can go ahead and substitute. That's going to be 4x plus 5 plus EBD, which is 6x plus 15. And we set that equal to 180. Okay, now from here on all, you can do the algebra, start solving for x, plugging it in, combining your like terms, uh, yada, yada. You should get x equals, I believe, 16. Okay, once you get x equals 16, that's not what the answer is asking for. It's saying the measures of each angle. So we take that 16 that we got from solving for x and we plug it back in. 4 times 16 plus 5. So 4 times 16 is 65, 60, sorry, 64, 64 plus 5 is 69. So therefore, the measure of angle ABE is equal to 69. Now, the great thing is, if I know that this is 69 degrees, all I have to do is subtract 69 from this to get the measure of angle EBD. And you can always go back and check your work, plug 16 back in here you should get the other half, which is equal to 111 degrees. Okay? That's a way for you to check your answers. Okay? And, again, the, the geometric part here is knowing that those two are a linear pair, which means they're supplementary. So that's the geometric piece right there. Uh, I know you guys are good with your algebra, so I'm not too stressed about that. Okay, the next one's talking about angle ABC, which is this angle right here, and the measure of angle DBE, which is this angle right here. The relationship with these angles is that they're vertical angles. So because angle ABC and angle DBE are vertical angles, they are congruent. And the definition of congruency means equality. So in other words, that means by definition the measure of angle ABC is uh, equal to the measure of angle uh, DBE. Okay, so by that definition, because they're congruency, right? That's the definition of congruency. I can go ahead and substitute. And I get 9x minus 16 is equal to 4x plus 24. From there, it's just algebra. After that, it's algebra. You can solve for algebra all day. Uh, add the 16, you get 40, subtract 4x, you get 5, divide both sides by 5, and x equals 8. Okay? That you should be able to get no problem. Then once we do that, uh, we're looking for ABC. That's the question. Take 8 and x and substitute it. 9 times 8 is 72. 72 minus 16 is 56. So the measure of angle... Uh, ABC equals 56. And it just so happens that DBE would also be 56. So from above, if we say that angle ABC is 56 degrees, what would the measure of angle ABE? So again, these are not drawn to scale. It's just basing it on the statement. With that being said, I know that these two angles form a linear pair, so they're supplementary. So in this situation, since I got ABC equals 56, I can do 180 minus 56 to get my remainder of 124. Okay? Last but not least, we have this last part. It is a little difficult. Again, it's not drawn to scale. I don't know why. They should do a little bit better job, but it isn't. It says that MS is the bisector, right? Bisects angle AMT. So this is a bisector. So since that's the bisector... That means that these two angles are, in fact, congruent, okay? They're the same, okay? Then it says the measure of angle CMA, that's this angle right here, is 100 degrees. What are the measures of the other angles? Well, it just so happens, hopefully you saw it, but this right here is a straight line, which means since it's a straight line, that's a straight angle that adds up to 180 degrees. Well, since this angle is already 100 that means this other part of the angle must be the leftover, which is 80. And since this angle is being bisected, we can take that 80 and divide it by 2, and we get 40 degrees for each. 
So those other angles are 40 degrees. Hope that helps. See me for tutoring if you need to.